Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it's time to make some soap. So today I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to use some different colors, maybe kind of an odd color combination. I'll be using the slab mold. The base of the soap will be white, titanium dioxide. I'm going to have three accents, ones I don't use very often. One's going to be a light blue, which is called Siren Song from Nurture Soap. One is going to be Aqua Pearl from Brambleberry. And one, strange name, it's called Light Rust Mica from Be Scented. But to me, it's sort of a pinky orange. And I just think those are going to look really nice together in a light base. I'm going to fragrance this with one I haven't used in a long time. It's called Smell the Rainbow from Nurture Soap. I have used it in the past several times. Years ago, it used to be called Jack Frost. And apparently, a lot of reviewers said it smells like Skittles candy, so I believe they renamed it for that. So I'm not doing really a rainbow soap, although we're going to have some bright colors in it. On the top, I'm also going to have some embeds. I'll show you those when I get to putting them on, and I'll tell you the story behind them. And I'm going to do a little bit of piping on the top, just piping around the embeds, just simple piping. So give me a minute to get set up, and I'll be back. All right, I do believe we're ready, so let's get our three colors made up. I have my piping set back there out of the way, and just for reference, I am using Nurture Soap's Green Vibrance for that. So let's start with our lightest, which is probably the blue. doesn't really matter. It's close enough. And I think about a half a teaspoon, or even maybe a little less, is more than enough for that small amount. looks remarkably similar to what I think this blue is going to look like, this aqua pearl is going to look like, but let's see. Maybe I'll put just a little bit less of this in, try to get a more of a green. Now there's enough difference. That's pretty distinct. And then this one will really stand out as different. just a little tiny splash of TD into that blue because I really was expecting a lighter blue. And just the teeniest tiny bit. Yep. And I'll stick blend that in just a minute. So let's get our base ready. As you know, if you watch me, when I know the fragrance behaves and I have time to work, I stick blend the TD directly in. And I usually don't have any trouble. Famous last words. Just trap that under the bell, burp it a little, turn it on, hold it a minute. <laughs> have not been stick blended at all, they've only been hand stirred, so they've got to be stick blended. So we'll do the same with that. That's a much better blue.
That's more like the color palette I was planning on. Let me just scrape down the sides of my container here. And we'll get this fragranced and we'll get this colored. I'm going to start by hand stirring this because I have not used it in a while. And I just want to be certain I don't have any problems. And it seems to actually be breaking it up a little bit, slowing it down some, which is good. Save that for our frosting. Behaving beautifully. Okay, if it thickens a little bit because I'm going to drop this in and then do a hanger swirl. So I think the white looks pretty good. I might just give it a super, super quick hit, but give those a hit to thicken them just a little. Actually, I think those are just the way I want them. No, I'm just going to leave it just like it is. Yep, I like that just like it is. So we're going to start with pour, pouring the majority of our white in here. Save just a little bit to swirl around. We're going to just drop these in.
And now for the embeds in the story. So I was going to pipe some flowers. Uh, been practicing some with regular uh, cake frosting. I'm still not very good at it, but I was going to do that. And I mixed up a real small batch, six ounces of oil. And I did something I never do. I mixed the lye and the water in the same container. I thought small batch. I always do them separately. So if I over pour one, they're not mixed. Well, I over poured the water. So I had too much water in it. And I increased the super fat thinking that would give me time to work. Well, needless to say, it didn't set up very well. I stick blended the daylights out of it. An hour later, it was just at, at pudding consistency. So I just poured these into a little small mold that I had, like some shells and some octopus, like a seahorse. So I went ahead and laid these on the lid. So I decided I would just go ahead and put these on this soap and pipe around it. So let me just kind of lay these in place. The way I have them on my lid here. And then I will pipe around those, but this is still pretty jiggly, so it's going to have to set up a while before I dare mix the frosting. And these I made two days ago. They're still pretty soft, but this is going to be oven processed, and that will help dry them out and firm them up. And then, of course, by four weeks later, they'll be fine. So anyway, I'll be back in just a minute with the frosting. All right, so keeping in mind that uh, the green vibrance is a morphing green. It won't be this color tomorrow. It will be nice and vibrant. Plus that fragrance or, uh, oil is a bit on the yellow side. And worry not, that won't go to waste. So I'm gonna put this in the oven to oven process it, and I'll be back for the cut tomorrow. Bye everybody. All right, we're back and it's time to cut. So I went ahead and split the log. These embeds firmed up just fine as I figured they would. I have not peaked, so let's take a look together. Now, I can't say that looks particularly nice, but that is because I think the direction of the swirl, I think, with the hanger swirl that is, I do believe when I cut into it this way, it's gonna look nice. So let's just find out. And 
the green vibrance did what it always does. It morphed back into its original green. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what I was expecting. I thought I'd have a little more white in there than I do, but that's all right. That's a little more what I was expecting. And this second log should look the same, if not similar, but let's find out. finish cutting these and get some pictures uploaded. These are the, this was the excess frosting I had. I'm not sure what I'll do with those. Probably just shred them and add them to the confetti bin for a confetti soap, or I may use them myself, who knows. But for the most part, this is exactly what I wanted. And I am quite pleased with this. So that's what I have for this week. As always, thanks for watching. Stay safe, take good care of yourselves, and be blessed. Bye, everybody.